Do right. you think somewhere there is a block that uh, in policy makers heads that investment in healthcare is not seen as an investment into the future, but somewhere as just a dead loss, money just going down? You know, I would think that that was the thinking in the past. Okay. The main thing that I think is that when you have national priorities as a politician, what translates into votes is a priority, a huge priority. Till today, it was other things. The other thing though, that was you promised roti, kapada, makan, mm -hmm. right? At election time, you could give people money and then buy votes. It's not happening anymore, it looks like. Thank God for that. Everybody's learning. This is the new India. Yes. See, the lessons are being learned. Now, even the pol in the political circles, they recognize that people are aware that they need health, that they are losing their families, that children are dying, they have got huge disease burden in their families, which are preventable, by the way, because these non-communicable -commun diseases are much easier to handle if we, if we do the right things. Okay. To wipe out malaria in the whole country take, takes much more effort than to educate the people and to give them the means to take care of themselves a little better. Which is all preventive. Yeah, preventive, right? And also because once you reduce, give clean drinking water, 50% of diseases will go away themselves. That's how, how correlated it is. Mm. So if in 60 years we can't do that, that's a problem. So now I'm saying that because the demand from the ground level is there, Votes are going to be decided on how government, state government, central government works by trying to, by providing the means for better health. I think it will make a difference. So whatever brings the shifts, uh, as long as decision making hap happens quickly. Yeah, yeah why I think not? That so I think, I think it's coming on the front burner. In mm. fact, if you look at the last budget, the government was very good about it. They gave good support. You get 15,000 rupees. Uh, for uh, checkup, preventive checkup, uh, tax free, you they have given uh, kept it out of the uh, the service tax loop, which would have been a devastating uh, uh, burden on the people. True. So the government has been a little more proactive, and I think it's a good idea. And and this year they didn't have any money, so we didn't expect too much money. Okay. But the, we did get the breaks which are necessary for people to move forward, also for insurance. Mm -hmm. So I think things are happening now in the last three four years. Definitely things are moving in the right direction.